Hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dillings video. So the main thing that Jaden and I have in common is apparently I can't stop doling ever. <laughs> That's the main thing. That's the only thing, pretty much. Well, okay, there are other things, but that's the easiest thing for me to say. Okay, well, it's Quattro. I'm doing Quattro now. Okay, Quattro, I'm going to kick your ass. But the rate of it still didn't require currency. It still did not require currency, and this event does. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are probably a bunch of standard Dulles out, and maybe some respawn to legendaries. And I'm sure the Vagabond is back. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to duel the way I want to, Quattro. You can't stop me from dueling the way I want to duel. Which actually has a surprising... It has a, I have a surprising amount of similarities with Quattro. <laughs> it's actually disturbing. It wasn't meant to be like this, but it is like this, and I had to deal with it. I mean, dueling like Quattro isn't a bad thing, but it's also... I wasn't going for that personality. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, he gets to Xe summon. Oh my god, no. Did I allow this? No, I did not allow this. What? I did not allow you- I did not give you permission to- I am not a normal fan, Quattro. I am never, ever- I am never going to be a normal fan, Quattro. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it, Quattro. I'm going to kick your ass for this. Uh, except I'm not playing as Jaden right now. Shit. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, well, this sucks. Oh my god. What? Okay, it's my turn. I need something good. Okay, um... Hold on a second. Uh, I, I don't think this is going to work out, but I may as well do something to see... Okay, it works. Alright, now I need something that... Actually, what, what am I expecting to happen? Uh... Death, I guess, is what... Oh my god. Well, you win this round, Quattro, but I will be back to get my revenge. And that's right, I'll be back to get my revenge. You will never turn me into a normal fan, so deal with it. <laughs> He's just like, why should I have to? You're a weakling. <laughs> I am playing as someone that isn't that great. That doesn't mean I can't change this. I will be back to kick your ass, Quattro. You will pay for this. Nothing like the personal touch. Okay, well that was stupid. The next duel, you know, no, no, Quattro, you have pissed me off. <laughs> because apparently we just have too much in common. <laughs> like, I'm a fan, but I'm also, uh, not a normal fan. Uh... One minute. Yes, I am doing this, I don't care. Uh, Jaden gets nothing for this. He gets nothing from this. He doesn't get anything from dueling in the event either. But, Quattro, you pissed me off. You know, I was pissed off last night as well. And I did something very stupid. But also, just so, just so I could just... Sh 
I mean, listen, guys. There are just things that I do that don't make any sense. But that's just how it is. I'm not normal, and I will never be normal. Ever. Okay, I destroyed the script. Okay, it's time to move on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I will get revenge, Quattro. I will destroy you. You have no chance of winning now. Because I have decided... I have decided that you have to go down. And what I decide... Goes. <laughs> what I decide goes. You managed to defeat me. But I wasn't in my normal form. Uh, which is why I lost. But let's ignore that. Ugh, damn. <sighs> okay, Quattro. It's it, it's going to be hell over here. I'm going to destroy you, and it's going to be hilarious because I'm not a normal fan, and you can't do you can't turn me into one. It's impossible, Quattro. You have to understand. You simply cannot do it. It's not possible. I do not have any capability to be normal. I threw it away a long time ago. Oh my god. All right. Hmm. My turn is over. It's your move. And you can't do shit. If you're going to try to win, too bad. You can't. You can't win against me. You can't win against the Supreme King. I am everything. Are, are you kidding me? Did you forget that I rule everything? You have forgotten, haven't you? I will have to show you how I will... I will drag respect out of you. You will, you will beg for your life. <laughs> yes, you will beg for mercy, but I will show you none. I will show you absolutely none. You don't deserve it. It's not fun if I'm merciful. <laughs> Okay, it's time to kick your ass. Um, actually, can he activate that on my turn? Well, if you can, then I have a surprise for you. Okay, I'm gonna destroy it. A spell. T I'm gonna destroy this. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and now it's my move. Number seventy will enter the field. I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Quattro, because this is one. <laughs> Although, why would you be afraid of spiders? That makes no sense. <laughs> you're the creepy type, right? So you should probably appreciate being finished off by me. <laughs> but I know you don't because you hate winning as much- you hate losing as much as me. <laughs> and you also have the weirdest logic out there. Because that logic is- Yeah, Quattro's logic is why I think my personality is more like his. <laughs> as opposed to the actual person I was trying to base my personality off of. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, I'm not sure if that's better or just cursed. <laughs> you, you know, both is cursed, actually. Oh! Yeah, he was supposed to be doing shark hair. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, so it's time for the next episode. Uh, kite. <laughs> it's you. It's you, Matsukumo, the son of Kazuma Tsukumo. It's fitting that the three of us should meet. Destiny has clearly brought us together. I want some answers from you. Tell me where my father is. Uh, he's in Astral World. I can help you understand my family's actions. And why we targeted Kite and his brother Hart. It's because they are linked to our real enemy. We seek revenge against their father, Dr. Faker. Dr. Faker is Kite's father? Yeah, I, I can understand your surprise. <laughs> Honestly, they don't look anything alike. I mean, seriously. I I'm just like, Kite, are you destined to, to look like that in your old age? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I hope, you, I hope you take more after your mom. <laughs> Dr. Faker and my father, Byron Arclight, were searching for a door that leads to other worlds. Okay, so the dub didn't change Tron's real name. Okay, that's good to know. But I doubted they would because there would be no reason to change the real names for Trey, Quinton, or Quattro. And if the dub did, I would be like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, they were searching for a door that leads to other worlds, and... Whoa, quite the impressive layout we've, we've got here. I'm sorry to have interrupted your trip, Kazuma Tsukumo. I'm Byron Arclight. I've tried every possible technology, but I still can't find the interdim... I still can't find the interdimensional portal. Cosma, since you've been searching for the portal too, can you share our can you share your research with us? With Cosma's data, we reworked our calculations and identified and identified where the portal would appear next. Gentlemen, the time has finally come. Dr. Faker, I regret doing this, but the ancient inscription reads, Deliver two souls for mysteries untold. You planned to betray us all along, didn't you? All that ever matter, all that ever mattered to me is reaching my goal. Byron used to be useful, but now he's expendable. Faker? You'll pay for this, Faker. Ah! My father found a way to travel through the interdimensional gaps until he reached this world again. But his appearance became warped. My father now calls himself Vetrix. What? He's your father? I thought he was a kid. Yes, Shiva, I know. I see now that there are things more powerful than revenge. Quitten. I mean, Christopher Arclight. You know what I mean? No reason to change the dub names for these three. It's been a long time since anybody called me by that name. Like our father, we gave up our true names. At first, I was hoping I could save my father. But Byron Arclight has become someone else. Vetrix was obsessed with revenge against Faker. I got caught up in his plans for vengeance. I, I felt it was my duty as his son. Once I save Hart, I'm going to confront my father. You've grown strong, Kite. Not only that, I'll do what you couldn't do. I'll stop Vetrix's quest for revenge for you. You and Hart will always be like little brothers to me. Goodbye, Kite.
All right, and I've obtained the fragment. Again. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, sure. I'll do it then. It shouldn't take too long, should it? Okay. Yes, this isn't this will not take long at all. <laughs> it will be quick it will be very quick. This music is just it just gets on my nerves. It's not evil enough. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, music doesn't have to be evil for me to like it, but usually if something is too cheerful, I don't like it. Now that might sound weird and I get it, I know, but this is just part of who I am. Uh, that being said, there are some music that there is some music out there that's pretty happyish and I do like it. It's just, it's just, I usually love the depressing music and the dark music and the evil music, all kinds of shit, you know? I've, I've always been more of a villain person, just saying. I try to be a bit more well-rounded now. Oh my god, I can't talk anything else? Alright, fine. I'll do this. It won't take long to destroy you. Alright, Tori, your bad music will soon be out of my hair. And then I will be able to be sane again. Although my active character isn't sane again because, well, I'm still in his dark form. Oh god. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I would say the Supreme King is insane. <laughs> Just saying, it was actually you, Bell, that was insane instead. <laughs> you, Bell, was definitely insane. The Supreme King, though, it wasn't really insane. <laughs> it didn't show that much emotion. Well, it's time for me to destroy you too, Anna. <laughs> because I can and I must at all times. <laughs> My opponents must go down. <laughs> all of them. Especially the one I'm dueling at the moment. Especially my current one. <laughs> all right, well, Anna, you lost. <laughs> I roll the ro you know, do I even have enough spins to do what I was planning? <laughs> I think so, just as long as I don't lose again. <laughs> oh my god. It's time to kick your ass again, Quattro. Because your ass must always go down. <laughs> I command it, of course. Okay, after this duel, I will have to end the video and start a new one. I've committed to reaching the eight. I've committed to the age gate. The what? No, I meant the time gate. The age gate? What? No, there, there was never anything about an age gate anywhere. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. 
But I I guess it's just Yuma was confused. Yuma, this is your fault. Yes, my weird slip there is Yuma's fault. Not in any fault, not in any way the fault of Dr. Faker, the person I have a grudge against. <laughs> There are so many characters that are just as bad as Dr. Faker, or even worse, and I don't have a grudge against them. <sighs> but, you know, I, I, I just, I forget things. And sometimes I get the, I get the next dialogue right, but I forget. <sighs> Quattro, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't have all day, Quattro. <laughs> you must duel. You must duel me. If you- okay, okay, I see. You finally understand not to piss me off. <laughs> good, good. It's my turn. All right. Well, hmm. And I'll destroy that card, and I think, hmm. I think that thing does something when it's in the grave. Okay. Sure. Well, it is now your move again, Quattro. You better not take as long as you did last time. I don't like when my opponents refuse to duel. My opponent's refusing to duel, that's bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see what you're doing. Do I? No, no, th th no, no, Quattro, no. I control this battlefield. It's mine. <laughs> oh yes, it's always mine. Quattro, prepare for destruction. You will beg for your life. <laughs> oh, yes. As I said, you will never turn me into a normal fan. <laughs> I was never a normal fan to begin with. I'm not normal for that. <laughs> to be a normal fan, I have to be normal first, you know? <laughs> I'm not. Okay, I said after this, hmm. Uh, I don't know, I, I should just stop. Uh, no, no, wait a minute, actually, maybe I could fit it in. Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I'll be fine. You guys might think I should have cut this out, but there's a reason I kept this in. And I'm just like, I, I, I think I can do this. I think I'll be fine. Although you guys might think this video is a bit too long, but it won't be as long as the last one, I promise. <laughs> or whatever the last one was. Stare off. It's Shark versus Quattro. This I gotta see. <laughs> How I've waited for this. At long last, Quattro is squaring off against Shark. I'll be keeping my eye on this one. You are way out of your league. You'll soon be sunk, Shark. Today, I'll pay you back for getting me disqualified. And for putting my sister in the hospital. Attack gimmick puppet giant grinder, Shark Drake. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, he was telling sh Okay, okay, fine. I know I've got issues, but do does- Everyone here has issues, okay? Shark has issues, Quadro has issues, uh, Yuma has issues, but normal ones? Oh my god. Attack gimmick puppet giant grinder, Shark Drake. Ugh! Ugh! Oh, that was close, Quattro. 
<laughs> it remains to be seen if her quick thinking was a fluke or a harbinger of things to come. A harbinger of things to come, wow. Be quiet, Vetrix. You know I'll do what needs to be done. Remember, I set him up and put his sister in the hospital. Because you ordered me to, Vetrix. Huh? Vetrix, what is your purpose? I demand that you answer me. I intend for Shark Drake to consume Shark. That will make him prone to my influence. Think again. You're not using me for anything. I beg to disagree. You will be my puppet, powerless to defy me. Why have you chosen Shark instead of me? I'm the better duelist. I'll prove that you misjudged me by beating him in this duel. Up here, number 40, gimmick puppet of strings. I equip my gimmick puppet with string of destiny and send a card in my deck to the graveyard. If it's a monster card, I can attack the same number of times as that monster's level. I drew level 8, gimmick puppet, Jerry doll. I can attack your shark drake eight times. Eight times? He can attack eight times. What? Attack gimmick puppet of strings. Celestial slash. Ah! Ah! Don't stop gimmick puppet of strings. Keep attacking. I hope Shark doesn't get used to the punishment. Ah! Are you hoping I show you some pity? You'll get no such sympathy from me. Ugh. Shark, let me enter your mind and soul. Accept me. No chance. I won't join you. I will not let you take hold. Accept me and we will be unstoppable. Do not, do not deny yourself the revenge you desire. I'll never join you. You hear me? I'll never join you. Never! I'll never join you. Never. I activate. I activate different dimension. Deep sea trench. This spell forces me to banish Shark Drake. Shark eliminated both the numbers efforts to march with him and give a puppet to that. Congrats on buying yourself a little more time, but you will be sunk eventually. And once you've been beat, I'll see that Dr. Faker gets his duel. And once you've been beat, I'll see that Dr. Faker gets his due. Here's my new, here's my real ace in the hole. Arise, number 88, give a puppet of Leo. I can remove one overlay unit from Leo each turn. When it runs out of them, I win. Leo only has one overlay unit left, so on my next turn, I win. This can't be happening. I was so close to getting my revenge, but it's slipping away. Do you want to walk away from this duel as a loser? No, I will have my revenge. What's this? You know what you have to do to win. Summon Shark Drake. No. No! Stop fighting. Defeat Quattro once and for all. 
No. Stop pretending there's another course. You want to win this deal, don't you? I must have revenge. Then let the number take hold. From the moment Quattro messed up my life, I've dreamed of only one thing, to get revenge. If I can get that, nothing else matters. So I know what I must do. My turn, I draw. I activate Deep Sweeper's effect to get rid of Deep Sea Trench and return Shark Drake to my field. Shark Drake, let us unite so that we can merge and evolve. Chaos Xyz Evolution. Appear, Chaos number 32. Shark Drake Vess, or however you pronounce that. Shark Drake Vest uses one overlay unit to banish a shark from my graveyard. Your Leo loses an attack equal to that monster's attack. It's now as harmless as a kitten. Shark Drake Vest attack is given comfort of Leo. Chaos Stream! Gah! Excellent dueling. You are truly worthy of taking down Faker. No, you're the one I'm taking down. You'll regret messing with me. Let's duel. Such enthusiasm. Such enthusiasm. Such enthusiasm. I like that. But you and I are not meant to duel yet. I'm so sorry, Shark, about everything. When I dueled your sister, Betrix forced me to use a powerful card. It was because of that card that she wound up hurt. I feel I felt terribly about what happened. I didn't think and I, I didn't think and just did what my father asked. Shark, bring my real father back. We're waiting for him to rejoin us as a family. Quattro! Listen, Yuma. I'm going after Vetrix regardless of Quattro. Because that creep needs to learn to never, ever mess with me. Okay, so what does my credibility look like right now? Okay, well, it's still not as much as, still not as long as my last video that was long. So guys, that wraps things up for this video. In the next video, I will, I will catch up. I need a break after that, so I will be back later for the next, for the next area. So until then, guys, that's it for now.